for someone to come in and be a level one SOC analyst, and we may differentiate between an MSS and a, a MSSP, but mm -hmm. for someone to come in and be a level one SOC analyst, what would be the route you would advise them to advise them to do? And I want to, I guess you can say a little bit of your route, but I put like what you advise them, but from your viewpoint of doing this almost a year now, pretty much at two companies and also finna be on a second contract within X amount of months. What do you think they need? Like, uh, because, you know, I say kind of what they should do, but now you're a person that's really not even a year removed from being the person asking, hey, I'm trying to get into cybersecurity, what should I do? So you're a testament of the things that I talk about. So tell the viewers, what do you think they should do? Uh, and granted, it's different levels, like in different ways you can get in different cybersecurity roles. But for some reason, a lot of people want to do the SOC, not knowing that, Honestly, a, a SOC comes with a wealth of knowledge that it kind of expects you to have about different things. Mm -hmm. But we're going to ask Day, what does he think that, you know, people need to be successful in a SOC? Yeah, absolutely. So I'll, I'll kind of give, I'll give a brief summary of my own route and then I'll, I'll kind of tell you what I would do differently. Because I, I feel like if I was to go over again, I would do it completely differently. And when I tell people, now I, I give them a different like, perspective so um i i i started so I, when i knew i wanted to get into cybersecurity, i was like okay um i can either get in through like it or like through an internship right i was like okay these are these are two routes i want to start with so i was like okay i i would look for help desk jobs or like uh, cybersecurity internships or it inter internships and i started applying for so what i did first was i was like okay i, I want to get at least a baseline certification just to um, kind of show like, you know, okay, I'm, I'm working on something. I'm learning new things because truly I, I like, I barely knew much about like, I knew, I knew, I understood tech, I understood like information technology, but I just, I, I didn't, I didn't know well enough for, I guess, entry level positions and stuff like that. So I was like, okay, I'm going to get the A plus, right? Um, and when I get the A plus, I'll, I'll start applying for, for IT positions, um, entry level positions. So I got the A plus, I started for the A plus, got the A plus. I started applying for entry level, like IT positions and like, um, cybersecurity internships. Um, and then just kind of, um, then I started like, you know, trying to learn a little bit more about security. But I also knew that I had to have a knowledge of networking, so I started studying for the Network Plus. So, fortunately, between the time after I got my A Plus and when I started studying for my Network Plus, I was able to get my internship, right? So, and this came through, so I'll tell you, number one thing, like, for internship is, like, you, you have to be in school, you have to be in college, right? So, that was the first thing, right? So, I was in college, I, I was a freshman at the time, and so I applied for an internship, and I got the interview, right? So, that's great. So, I had the, I had the certification, I had the college. Um, experience. I got the interview. I started working on like cybersecurity projects too. So I put out on my, my resume, I think. Or oh, I, I talked about it in an interview, not on my resume. So I was able to get an interview, right? So now when I had the interview, I was like, okay, I have to kill this interview. I have to um, give this people a reason for them to hire me. So, you know, when we, when we had the interview, I made sure to like, you know, pretty much like put on my cards on the table this is me um this is what i know this is this is what i i, I uh, this is a passion of mine and i really i really appreciate i really appreciate this opportunity to learn more about cybersecurity. and i was able to do that um and i eventually got the internship so now i can say i can say that even though like you know a plus is not a security uh, certification but it's still uh, it, it's still a certification uh, regardless right and then i got the internship um i i i started once i got the internship i passed my network plus and then i i, I took the security plus so um that was kind of how i got into you know the field That's how i broke into the field and then from there on uh, i transitioned into becoming a SOC analyst and between that time i started building skills and learning about sims and like different things like that um that's kind of how I, I you know i got into the field like just get into the field like with my internship but if, if i was to do it all over again right this is this is what i usually advise people right so you, you have to kind of know where you are at right now like what is your, what is your knowledge base what do you what do you know at this moment like what do you understand like do you understand networking do you understand like basic it stuff um i think having like a solid fundamental having a solid um baseline a solid foundation is like really important and i, th I think a lot of people overlook that and just kind of go from like zero and want to go to like 90 in, in a span of like a really short time. You have to spend time learning the fundamentals because you're always going to come across the fundamentals. Like everything we do in cybersecurity still boils down back to the fundamentals. And, and if you have a solid fundamental, you can then build off of that towards everything else. So I would just recommend that people... <laughs> 
So I, I would usually. I hate to interject, but yeah. this is something us senior level people have been telling people on Twitter about doing the fundamentals. And you're one year in and just said the same thing that you have not even been on. Matter of fact, guys, I wouldn't even able to tag him on Twitter because he's not on Twitter right now. He just said the same thing that we've been telling y'all of not skipping steps and just knowing the fundamentals. So it's important, but I'm going to let you carry on. Yeah, so absolutely. So the fundamentals are important. So I, you have to first self-evaluate. So when I evaluated myself, I was like, okay, I need to do the A+. plus, Right? The A+, plus is... People usually term it as always oh, entry level, it's too low level, you, like you don't really need the knowledge of the A plus, but like like no other certification really even teach, teaches you certain things that the A plus teaches you and having that knowledge is gonna help you. So I don't necessarily recommend doing the A plus, but just taking a course on it, literally just taking Professor Messer's course, right? You can literally finish that course in a week or two. You have the fundamental knowledge, that's all you need. You don't have to have the certification to prove that you have the knowledge. All you need is that fundamental knowledge, right? Take the A plus. Now, the second certification that a lot of people always usually skip over, which I recommend, is the network plus. Everything that is in cybersecurity boils down to networking. Like cybersecurity cannot be anything without networking. Like everything we do in cybersecurity is surrounded by networking. We need networks to connect our different devices. We need networks to like communicate with the different devices. Networking is like the is which all the network information is what you get on your SIM from your firewalls, from your hosts, from all your devices. Everything is based on networking. So if you don't have a fundamental understanding of networking, like you're going to really struggle with cybersecurity because like you're going to be having to deal with like different networking protocols or different networking concepts that you have to understand. So I usually recommend people studying for the network plus, right? You don't have to like, you also don't necessarily have to take the certification, right? All you just need to do is to understand the concepts provided in the network plus right so study for the network plus understand the concept you can take the certification if you want but just understand that the concepts in the network plus is going to be enough for you to get that baseline of fundamental understanding of networking now if you want to go you know further you want to you know go further beyond just like network plus knowledge ccn is also another one you can go for that but that's that's if you want to if you have the time the resources and the energy to go beyond the uh, network plus um, level of knowledge. So I think one of the reasons why I I, I, I eventually decided not to do, to do the CCNA was, was because I already did a CCNA class. I already studied for the CCNA, C CCNA exam and I already had the, the fundamental like network plus knowledge and I already had a job. So I was like, it would be kind of counter counterintuitive for me to take the exam now. Like if it, I, I might pass, I might, I might not pass, but like it, it would just be, it wouldn't be a, a good use of my time and like my resources to take the CCNA at this point in my career. I can only like try to like move forward based on where I'm at. But if you are at that point in your career, this is, if you want to take the CCNA, then, you know, absolutely like it's your own prerogative. And also CCNA also puts you in a better, um, a better position for some kind of entry level jobs, right? So we've got it now, A plus, never plus, that fundamental knowledge of basics of it and networking you, you you have that down right now you you're you're not starting to connect the, the pieces together with the security knowledge so people usually recommend the security plus right and of course like it's the stable certification for like entry level like cyber security positions entry level um most cyber security positions you would see have the security plus as a requirement and also for like the dod requirement but I, I personally would recommend before or after taking the security plus to do either the ejpt which is the inline security junior pen tester or the blue team level one now the the reason behind the ejpt is because like the security plus is great it, it covers a really large amount of things but i think the ejpt um is like it, it gives you the perspective of the kind of attacks you're going to be seeing when you're when you eventually get into that if uh security position like the different kinds of like things you're going to be analyzing from the sim you have the understanding of how they work from the attacker's perspective at least at a, a baseline level so understanding that knowledge from the ejpt perspective is going to help you when you eventually see those things from the logs or from the sims when you're analyzing them so i, I recommend the ejpt or you could do the blue team level one which i'm currently studying for um that certification is a certification it's like the um people call it like the oscp of the blue team side so what a certification does is it, it it's pretty much the it's pretty much security plus cyc plus and a whole lot more 
in one certification, right? So this certification covers everything from like basic security fundamentals to uh, threat intelligence, digital forensics, SIM, incident response, and all of the things you need, you pretty much need to become a SOC analyst are covered in this certification. This particular boosting level one, like if you take the certification, I can I can personally say that if somebody has a certification, they've taken the exam, you have the skills and the knowledge you need to become a SOC analyst because this certification is a, it's a, it's a, it's a practical certification. So it's not multiple choice like CompTIA or uh, any of the other certifications. You have to go through a 12 hour incident response scenario and create a report um within 24 hours right like the oscp so you have to create a report go through a live incident response scenario and you know go through that whole situation so if you can do that you can definitely work in a security environment or SOC. so i recommend that and then you can go ahead to do like a security plus or a cyc plus um although the blue team level one might not give you the hr clout having the knowledge plus the security plus certification to have that hr requirement combined together will you know help you bolster your 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 efforts like in your uh when you're applying for jobs or applying for internships so and all of this the a plus number plus security plus blue team level one ejpt all of that if you uh properly plan your time you can do that within a month uh, sorry within six months within six months so if you plan a six month time period for all of these different trainings you can definitely get that done and another thing i also recommend is while, while you're doing this you, you can't just do this without um letting people know that you're doing this because you, you, your, your end goal is to get a job. So you, you have to let people know your intention. So share it on your social media, share it on your LinkedIn, on your Twitter, if you have one, because Twitter is a great place for this cybersecurity community. So share it on your Twitter, share it on your LinkedIn, have a blog or a, or a YouTube channel where you're sharing your knowledge um, to show people what you're learning, what you know, like go through um, go through labs, right? If you're, as you're learning these things, go through like, go to Let's Defend, learn how to work cases like you would in, in a SOC environment or, you know, like go to Try Hack Me. Try Hack Me has rooms on like Splunk on like different tools like that. So you have, and you can do like write-ups or like videos of what you've done, of what you've learned, or you can do projects, you can do like home labs just to show that you are really interested in this and like share it to your network. And when people see that, people see your passion generally, you start making connections with people that can eventually, you know, kind of help you get into where you want to, which was like kind of how I kind of connected with um with Henri because like he saw what I was doing and like he was like, oh, this guy really has a passion for what he, what he's doing, and he connected with me with he connected with me with different opportunities, and eventually my current opportunity. So like having all of those things and letting people see that is also going to be really important. You need visibility as alongside everything else you're doing. So that's what I would advise. Like within your first six months, if you follow that plan, you know, to the T, like just like block out all distractions and just follow it. I, I can guarantee that you with the right you know resume with the right connections you can definitely get your first entry level internship or suck analyst or entry level position in, in cybersecurity.